hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name's ashley today we're going back with another college video if you guys are new here i am a recent post grad from texas a&m university i graduated last december and i've been meaning to do this video since i've graduated and i have just been procrastinating it I did the same video sophomore year of college I went back and look at the video and basically I stopped at like my very first Chen class I have my laptop here and I will still put it on the screen of what I'm ranking I have all these classes I went ahead and put them all in order Chen 205 thermal one I had this class during COVID it was online the teacher was great I loved the professor with the Chen department specifically at A&M professors make or break your classes it will change your class experiences and my ranking system is satisfactory to F so 205 I'm gonna start with the B because I don't want to be too generous Chen 304 I think this one's fluid I'm gonna give it a C I took that the same semester as 205 if I'm gonna give 205 a B I'm gonna have to give 304 a C because fluid is just a little bit more difficult the class itself was more self-taught sense 310 is one of my safety classes industrial hygiene engineering this class wasn't hard it was just a safety class for my safety certificate sense 312 was system safety engineering they doubled as my elective and my safety certificate so i knocked like two birds with one stone 310 i didn't like because it was like super late at night because it was an elective at least it was online with COVID though didn't really like the professor so i'm gonna go with c and 312 i think i enjoyed taking this class but this one was an 8 a.m and i did not enjoy the 8 a.m i enjoyed 312 more than 310 so i'm gonna give it a b I'm not trying to be too generous guys chen 320 is my coding class numerical analysis but it was matlab professor was nice and all don't like coding i haven't touched matlab since graduating so i'm gonna give it a d i did not enjoy this class the professor was nice it was online so it was all fine and dandy just did not like the coding so this one's chem 322 not chen as you can tell there's a chem and a chen chem 322 that is pchem i'm gonna give it an f I hated that class. I don't know why I needed it. I studied so much for it just to do so bad in it. I would not want to relive that time of my life. Chen 322, my materials class. I took this one also during COVID. I had this professor for Chen 204 and I got stuck with him for 322 again. And 204 was so bad. I thought I was going to flunk out of chemical engineering because I did so bad and it was so hard. By the way, 204 is not on this list because I did it on my last ranking video. Either like the classes just weren't as hard as 204 before or my studying habits just got a lot better as I progressed I don't know probably both I'm gonna give it a B because it wasn't too bad the professor didn't do me as wrong as 204 322 just wasn't as difficult as a class I guess for 204 so 323 that's my heat transfer class loved heat transfers the professor was great up until the final that was pretty bad the professor was great he was very clear about everything so i'm gonna give that class an a chen 324 that's my mass transfer class i also thoroughly enjoyed it i think at this point they started giving cheat sheets <laughs> at this level of classes and it's definitely been very helpful i'm gonna give that class an a chen 354 this is thermodynamic 2 i think this is a class i'm gonna give an s not because it was easy it was a super hard class thermo 2 was so hard i think this was the class that was like the turning point for me i can do this i have really bad imposter syndrome i studied my butt off and it paid off the grades showed i was always at the bottom of the barrel and this class i was able to prove to myself that i have the brain power i have the knowledge like i'm smart enough to do this because i feel like a lot of my classes i was really trying to be at least average and a lot of the time it was below average and 354 was the one time where i was able to prove myself that i can be above average and i can do this i would give it an s for that reason chen 364 that's my kinetics class i don't remember much about kinetics i think it was the one class that i took with the on time seniors because i was a semester behind i don't remember anything about it i had the good prof i remember i don't have any like good or bad memories of it so because of that i think i'm gonna give it a c because i do recall kinetics being a pretty difficult class 10399 is the mid curriculum development during your junior or senior year you have to do an internship study abroad research something to have experience on your resume so i'm gonna give that an s because a lot of people complain about it or like that's what stops them from graduating but i love that a&m does this to give you experience so a&m really sets you up for success 
Chen 425 is the econ class that we take. It wasn't my favorite. Professor was super nice. There was econ in the econ labs on Aspen Plus, and I did not like the labs at all. I'm gonna give it a B. Chen 426 is my plant design slash capstone class. It was just really time consuming. I'm between a C and a D. Okay, I'm gonna just give it a C. Chen 432, that is Chen Lab 1. That doesn't start till like senior year. They don't want you touching things until you at least learn like the fundamentals. Chen 433 is Chen Lab 2. So I'm trying to think like which lab did I like more? I don't think I liked either. So 432, we were able to work in groups of four and 433, you worked in groups of two. So for that reason, I think I would do 432 for B and 433 for C. So Chen 455 is the process safety engineering class. I loved it, had no complaints. I felt like it was a pretty straightforward class. Not only was it a required class for Chen, but it was also counting towards my process safety certificates. I'm gonna give this class an A. Or do I wanna give it an S? I'm gonna give it an S. I'm gonna be generous with that one. Chen 460, I confused my SEND classes. Okay, Chen 460 is another safety class instead of Senj, it's Chen. So, okay, so I confused them in my head. Chen 460 is the qualitative risk analysis class. That was my 8 a.m. So the other two Senj classes were online classes. I'm gonna move 460 to a B because that's what I was talking about for Senj 312. 312, I'm gonna move down to a C. It was online. It was the same professor as the Chen 460 class, but it was really annoying taking the class and I felt like it was like a lot of busy work. Chen 461, that is my controls class. I'm gonna have to give that class an A. Not because it's easy. That class was so hard. I hated that class so much. It was so hard to study for. It was so difficult. And then we had that group project that I really hated so much. Somehow managed to get an A. Proved to myself that I can be above average in a very difficult class. So that's the reason why I gave it an A. I would not like to take controls again ever. That class was really stressful. Chen 481 is my seminar class. It just basically teaches you how to write properly and just gets you ready for industry. I'll just give it a B just because it didn't really stand out to me. Just the class that I had to take. So we hit the last one, Chen 482. That's my bioprocessing class. I hated that class. I'm gonna give it a D. I just feel like it was so useless for me to learn about this class. Like I'm sure like someone in the bioprocessing engineering realm would have enjoyed, but I just did not like learning all those bio stuff. Like it felt like I was in the bio major class and that's just not something that I'm interested in. That is my college ranking system. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my little input. Let me know if you guys want other college slash A&M videos. I know I've graduated already. If you guys have any specific videos that I have made in the past or want an updated one on, please let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys.